it is very wrong when bloggers will not do their findings go for their underground session before using somebody's image to talk about stories this is defamation of character and person okay guys you are welcome once again to my channel so more stories unveil for Chidima Adora Ujuku, who is a 21 years old undergraduate of mass communication of the University of Lagos, Nigeria, who recently stabbed her married lover to death, late Michael Osifo Ataga, who you are seeing on the screen right now, the CEO of Super TV, a media firm and telecommunications giant. He is a married, rich and handsome man aged 50 years. Okay, Brenda, the wife of the mother super TV boss, now widowed, sophisticated, elegant and also classy, is a mother of children. She is a senior guru in the oil firm called NNPC in Nigeria. Of course, she has risen to managerial level at the NNPC. So the faces you are seeing that is flooded both on social and print media for the past days now, in the month of June 2021 precisely, on 13th June 2021, the CEO got missing. After days of search, he was found dead at a hotel room at HMBNB, Lagos State, Nigeria. After about two days, the alleged lover girl, which you are seeing now on the screen, Chidima Adora Ojuku was apprehended and she confessed. But to me, or should I say, do you think it's a premeditated murder? Or is it out of self-defense? Because I have done the part one of this video. Do you also think it's intoxication? As she said, she was high on drugs and alcohol. Do you think it's a rape case? Because she said after they have had sexual intercourse, the man wanted to continue that is asking for more but she refused and if you look at that aspect when the lady refused to give the consent to the man and she is forcefully um taking advantage to have sex that is rape but why will a 21 years old girl be seen gallivanting with the late 50 years old married man. All I know is because of money. What was she expecting from a married man, if not sexual intercourse, which I normally called kawashi in exchange of money? So, my girl, being high or drugs or you are drunk is not an excuse for crime. We all believe that justice will take its full course. So, lovelies, this girl you are seeing on the screen displayed is a South Africa celebrity. She's into fashion. Okay, so it is important that we try and debunk fake news because misconceptions like these are often created, especially on trading topics. The genesis of this narrative was created hours ago after video of Beverly Salaku were posted on social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram. Social media users saw the video and assumed it was Chidima, the alleged killer of the CEO Super TV Guru. Chidima simply looks like the famous South African model, but they are not they are not the same person. The trading fake news has to be debunked okay so 
this is the real person you are seeing and this is um, the South African model. It is so easy to confuse the suspected killer because Chidema with the South African celebrity, both ladies have similar facial and body appearance. If you see the photo above, the Unilag student is by the left, while Bibli Talaku is by the right, without someone straightening out the difference, anyone can believe they are the same person. So the video that is viral of Beverly Tareko, who is the chief executive officer of the shopping and retail store Beverly Luxury, was posted on Facebook to claim the identity of Chidima. So she has cried out to fat check. She is not Chidima. She is Beverly Taliku from South Africa. Okay. And when she posted a dress from her online shopping store, this dress you are seeing that she kept her bonbon like somebody that wants to kawashi from the back. That is the same dress and photo some bloggers are now using in place of Chidima. Okay. The whole country is talking about the death of Super TV CEO Osifo Michael Ataga and the 21-year-old University of Lagos State student Chidima Adora Ojuku, who is being held accountable for his death. In the course to spice up the news on Chidima, a misconception has been presently created dragging an innocent South African celebrity identified as Beverly Tahaku. So you can see the person on the right is Tahaku, which you can see boldly, no, I am not the one. Why the one on the left is Chidima, the one you are seeing, yes, on her shirt. She is the alleged killer, all right? So people should get their facts straight before they do videos because this is defamation of a character, as I said. And please, whenever you see those pictures of the lady circling around, debunk it because she is not the culprit here, all right? So Chidima is different, even though they look so much alike. But when you take a very close look, you will know that they are different all right as a matter of fact beverly talaku just celebrated her 20th birthday a few days ago in the month of june 2021 and made no appearances in nigeria they not see her break light for nigeria let alone her image so many people know how then they take carry fake news all right my people so that is that so the next voice you'll be hearing is about a guy that is saying that the late man's wife, Brenda Ataga, has nothing to do with the killing of her husband. You know, in my first video I did, I said allegedly she was dragged into the picture that she is behind the killing of her husband but now this guy is saying it's not true so you will hear the voice of the guy roll it after watching the full interview on channels television it's clear that this girl is a criminal first of all she was the one who lodged into that apartment she was the one who paid for the room that this man got killed in. It was through the accounts that she used to transfer the money that they were able to trace her. They also found a fake driver's license in her possession with her picture in it for a different name, Mary Johnson. This probably means that this man may not have even known her real name 
before he died. This girl just exhibits everything a criminal does exhibit. And while she checked into that room, she did not put her phone number. She used an international number so that they would not be able to trace it back to her. She knew what she was coming there to. This is bad. This is so bad. So there's a conspiracy going around so detailed that it's almost believable. This conspiracy is claiming that this woman, Brenda, this man's wife, is the one behind all of this. She has a boyfriend named Izu. That Izu is Chidima's uncle. She has been trying to get out of the marriage with this man named Ankel. She needed strong evidence of him cheating. That was when they sent her. It gets worse from The conspiracy goes on to say that Chidima was asked to take pictures, videos of them doing the do. Remember, they've been seeing each other for four months. She was introduced to him by somebody. We don't know who that person is. But this theory is claiming that it was Brenda's secret lover that introduced Chidima and uh, Michael to meet. And then on the day they killed him, the theory claims that Michael had stumbled upon the videos and pictures of them doing the do in her phone. He was drunk and was going at her, trying to get her to explain what those videos and pictures were doing on her phone. And that was when things went south and she killed him. So, Lovelace, what do you think about that? Is the alleged wife, Brenda Ataga, innocent? Or it is just mere conspiracy theories? Or is it that the police doesn't want the public to know what they have known? Let us hear the account of Chidima, why she killed her married lover. On Monday, we were together drinking, smoking, we had fun, so I went to get food. Then on Tuesday, he was trying to make advances on me, which I was tired, but it became violent. He got his way, which I, I let him. Towards afternoon, we ordered for smoke and also goofies. We became high. I wasn't happy for the first one he did, so I was still on my own, just smoking and drinking. Then he came on to me. I was like, know that i'm not happy with what she did in the first one i was like you don't help me you don't assist me in anything you just playing with me around it became violent trying to get to me and i was resisting and defending myself he hit my head on the wall and i also re retaliated she was choking me which i was on the kitchen cabinet and i stretched out the knife and then i stabbed his neck Hmm, this is really pathetic, my people. Then say in the pigeon language, say Pekin way say mama no go sleep, himself no go sleep. Okay, cheating man now. You see what the love of money have put you into. Apart from the love of money, you are lost over money. You see? Okay, but my question here is that why will a married man be gallivanting with a 21 year old girl all because of sweet bakus does it mean your wife bakus is not sweet hmm, my people so that is it yes that is what one gets when you are trying to do something in secrecy in as much as we are in the polygamous country nigeria why are you hiding you are hiding from your relationship Okay, you don't want the media to see you because you are a man of what wealth, according to what they say about you. And what we also hear is that you are in trouble waters with your wife. That is your marriage. Don't they shake like Shakespeare? Your wife is um, asking for a divorce and you refused her to go. Then say you don't want to make a uh, uh, meat enter person mouth. You too, you don't want to chop the meat, they look the meat. So if really what we are hearing that it is an allegedly um, way of a uh, mother, we don't do for now, through your wife, because she has fallen in love with a long-time man called Izu. Best way, don't die, don't die. You cannot come alive back to come and defend yourself in this situation, okay? But the bottom line is that most married women were one side chicks when they were singles. And as at that time, we they play our game well. But now at this side chick, they want to drag with the original madame. And they be counterfeit. 
They want to drag originality. We want to rub shoulders with original madam. Do you know how many, many married men have killed side chick and it is swept under the carpet? Nobody knows. But this one now is everywhere. It's on the lips of Viber bloggers and paper prints. Okay? I hope this is a wake-up call for young girls out there. Guys, so stop to timing is not the 